What's up, guys? Let's talk about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, martial arts as a self-defense and sport. So the score system from the sport uh, come from the self-defense situation, right? So we start as a standing position. Uh, we need to protect our, ourselves, and to protect ourselves, we need to take out the power of our opponent. So how we can take out the power of our opponent? So we get close and bring them uh, to the ground. That's one way to take out the lucky punch or the, take out the, the, the really kinetic power that can generate by a really strong kick or really strong punch. That's bring the, the efficiency of the other attack martial arts down in a MMA situation you the use of too much Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is illegal what that mean uh, if you using too for too long the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu they don't let you use because if you grab someone and take too long there they stop you and they bring you back standing. So they wanna action, they wanna the knockout, they wanna the, the, the show for uh, entertainment reasons. What's uh, really nice and fair, but not the reality. If you wanna protect yourself, you're gonna hold the, the person as much as you can to don't let the other person punch you or, or knock, you, knock you out. So that's uh, the illegally part of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on martial arts. If you do, but coming back for the score. So if you get grab the person, bring the person down, and make and control the person, that's two points, right? So two points of getting control. If you think about that supposedly the other person don't know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu so if you put the other person down and control the other person you are ahead so that's why two points but sometimes you go inside the guard you go uh, in the side control back or go straight to a better place but just to understand the action of take it out the power for knockout power and bring to the ground so really bring the, the, the knockout power uh, really uh, almost zero. To be able to make the two points, you need to be on top. So on top of the other person, the other person don't have the, the, the power to knock you out. So then, but if you pull guard, that's no score because you still taking the person to the ground, but you didn't neutralize the whole knockout power. You are uh, in an equal situation. You're still in the, the in the danger zone, but you are in a better place anyway as a self-defense. If the other person don't know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, that's a really good uh, guard place. But you're running from the, the, the control power. You're not controlling the person. Uh, you are yeah, you equal situation. The person is still can uh, uh, throw some punches on you, and uh, you're not really controlling the person. You're just in a better place to trying to evolve for a better control. So just uh, two points of throw. If you throw the person down, control on top of the person okay second uh points so if you are inside the person guard you are in, uh, on top but you don't have that many submissions and the person on the bottom can uh try to uh escape from there and you know controlling that much so we, you, if you pass the guard, you are in a better control. That's three points. Three points for pass the guard. And you have a, a much 
a better place to submissions, to, to control, and to keep on top. That's why it's three points. Knee on the belly, same thing. So you just are with the knee on the belly, you, you can uh, still submissions. I, I, I still have a lot of submissions. You still have a lot of control and you're still on top. If you mount is the ultimate place, then you can be because from the mount position, the, the other person can also be meet you. Really rare, weird things they can do, but only if they really do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, so it's the best place to, do, to protect yourself is the mount and the back control. So if you get someone back, you're really in a better place to control, to punch, if it's a self-defense, and uh, to choke, if it's a just regular uh, sport game, and the other person don't have that much of control of you. The sweep, uh, we, we call that when the person about to flip the guy on top and become on top, that's uh, two points because you are in the equal place. Now we start to be in more control place. So when you're controlling on top, you are uh, in a better place as a self-defense and as a, as a sport as well. So in this sport, we forget about that all the time. So the guys pull guard, sweep, and let the guys sweep just to be able to sweep again and then make it points and that's that's a game with the the a game with the score system you playing a game but then people should not uh, get these bad hab habits because that's when the real life situation happens you uh, you can really go the weird places and that's why some um, really good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu com competitors didn't go well on martial arts too like uh, a mix of martial arts like MMA combat sometimes you cannot be in the a weird 50-50 uh, place the guy gonna heal on your face and things like that and, and you, you cannot you pull guard like distracted because the guy gonna punch you in your face so has a lot of game on that but martial arts is a game too so you play the game you uh, you can avoid Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because it's completely Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is illegal so just different game different situations but in my opinion, the best self-defense martial arts can I have contact with was Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That's why I I love it. I did the whole my life. I got in love that in 1994. I have been doing that since then. It never stopped. Even competing in UFC, and I know how is hard to translate the sport to the real life but that's all about mindset if you have a good mindset you can translate well and bring that to the life and bring that to your maybe career if you want but thank you for the, the watching the video the cliche if you like it like it button subscribe and i i hope you guys like the video